Oh, hello. Welcome to my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and today or I'm going to paint the clownfish that I made last week. I'm going to show you how to paint that from start to finish, but this is what the finished clownfish looks like. And I'm going to show you how to paint that. And the first thing that I want to show you to do is we're going to have acrylic paints here. I have them right over here and I have various color blues to like light blues. And then on the, for the fish, we're actually going to use some oranges, a white, and a black. So these are the various colors that we're going to be used. The first thing that I want to do is I figure we'll do the base for the water quickly. So I'll do that. We'll get a little, this is a, like a dark blue. We'll do is this is a nice base. So we'll do that. And I'll get a nice wide brush to get that done. And here we go. We're going to, this way we can paint. So I'm just going to dab that in there and then fill all the nice crevices and things to make it look like water. Now you can see that. See how nice that looks? We go all around the base now with that nice dark blue. I'm just going to double check, make sure we don't miss any spots that. Uh, so that's looking very good. The next thing that we want to do is I'll add another, like a lighter blue now. I'm going to put that right there. And what I'm going to do is now on this one, we're just going to dab it around the base. We're not going to cover the whole thing, but I just want to add a little variation in color. dab various areas around here. That way we'll give it a, see that? We're coming around here, doing a little dabbing. That's good. We're gonna, I'm just gonna get a little more paint Put that right here. That way we can dab it nicely. And then add a little in the front here. Then we'll come back over here. I just want to add a little more over here. Ah, that looks good. Now we're gonna again. Now we're gonna add another color blue. This is a little lighter than the previous one. I'm gonna put that right there. I want to make sure I put these on tight because if I don't, the paint will dry up on me. So we're going to. Have our trusty little paper towel here to wipe it off. Now, I'm just going to dab a few places here and there for the, the blue here. See that? We'll just dab a little bit around there, various places. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get, this is more like a turquoise blue. Put that on there. I'll just 
Let's wipe that off nicely that way we can add that now. I'm going to put that aside. Now we just dab a little bit here and there. See that? Just dab a little bit here and there. Because I want to just have variation in the color for the water. Makes it look more real. See that? You just dab it a little bit around here and there. Then we do the same for the other side. And now we're going to go. We're going to go to a lighter, a light blue. Now. Try to dab a little bit here and there for that one too. See, just dab a little bit here and there. See that? So I'm gonna see how I'm doing that. And then we're going to do a little in the back here, too. Okay. And then we got like a bluish green here. I'm just going to dab my brush a little here that way. We'll just add a little bit right here. So we're going to go all the way around. Just dab a little bit here and there. And looking real good. See that? Now, we just got two more colors that I want to put on here. We're going to use like an off white. We put that right there. And then put that over here. And then we're going to use a white. Okay. So now we'll do this here. Doing a little bit of the off-white. See that? We're going to just dab various areas around here. See that? 
and I'll show you here. And now what I'm going to do is in, make sure we get all around the base. And now we're going to go to the regular white. See that? We've gone all around the base. Dab a few more places. But see that? A nice variation in color. You want to make it look like the ocean. So the next thing that we want to do is now that we've done that, move those paints out of the way is we're going to blow dry this so it's going to make it much easier for me to handle. I'm going to chest it now. Yeah, it feels, feels pretty dry now. So that'll make it much easier for me to work with. It might be a little sticky, but that's okay. The, uh, the next thing that I want to do is, now that we've done that, is I want to start painting the fish. So I have an orange color here. And I'm going to use that as the base. So we'll take this. I'll put it right here. So now we're going to take the orange and go over the entire fish. There. That's nice. We've got a nice orange color on them there, both of the oranges. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to use white. Okay, looks like there's one area here that's going to be painted white. We're going to make like a little stripe. right there. So we got that. Okay, so then the other stripe that we're going to do, or the white patch, if you want to call it, we're going to do it right here. See that? See how we're doing that? Right there. Look at that. It's starting to come along nicely. And then...
Let me make sure that's look at that. We're really coming along nicely. And then there's another white patch up here. Okay, look at that. So, what you also want to do too is, is you want to make sure you do it on both sides like that. So I'm going to come over here, flip that around, and do the same thing over there. See how I'm doing that? And so there's, there's basically a white patch. You can think of it as a stripe also. I'm going to come and do it here. Ah, look at that, that looks really nice. And then, we're just going to make it a little wider here. And then, I'm going to do the same thing up here. That white stripe or the white patch, like I mentioned again. That looks really good. And then, that way, see, we've done both sides like that. I'll rotate them around. Just want to make sure I'm just going to paint a little more on this side. That 
looks good. I just want to paint. See that? It's really starting to come along nicely. The next thing that I want to do is we'll I just want to touch up this a little bit here. Get those white stripes. I want to make sure they're as white as possible. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing in the process is, let's see. So I want to paint, use the black paint. So I'm going to take some black now. And then, Okay, so now, see around the white here? I just want to put like a black line or stripe. See that? Look how nice that looks. And then we'll do the same thing over here too. I'm just going to show you one side. I should do this to both sides, but See that? That's looking really nice now. And then we'll do right here. And then we'll do here, we're going to paint, go up and around here with the black paint. I'm trying to see this? See how we did that? And then, 
Another area you want to paint with the black like that is right here. So each round, each one of the fins, you want to put, add that black also. And then like this one here, this fin right here. So I did that. Now, one of the things we also want to do, we've done that, is we want to paint, looks like we have the black stripes up here too. And what I like to do up here is paint the black stripe up here. See that? that around there. And then you want to get this here too. So we've done that. Now I'll show you, we need to paint the eye. I'm gonna paint that right there. And you're also gonna paint the other eye that color too. there on the eyeball. That's good. Now, what we also want to do, let me see, I just want to look at my previous model, make sure that we didn't miss anything. I'm going to take We're going to do that. Ever so slightly around the eye here, we're going to add a little white. To give it some contrast. See that? And then, that's pretty much the whole fish that's painted. I want to show you what the final version is going to look like. But you're going to have to paint the other side the same way I painted that side. So I'll show you. Let me get all the stickiness off my hands. This is what your final version of the fish will look like. See all the beautiful water the way we painted that? I'm going to rotate that quickly so you can see it. And then, now this is the actual fish. See how we did all the black around the edges? And we did the white. We did the black around the fin, black around the fins there. This is what your clownfish or Finding Nemo fish will look like when it's completed. And I'll just kind of rotate that around so you can see what it's going to look like from all sides. See how we did that? Very nicely done. And it's a beautiful fish. I'll show you from the top. See how I painted the black stripe on the top? And that's what your Finding Nemo or a Clownfish will look like when it's completed. 
I do want to thank you for coming to the show, Creations of Clay, today. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.